U.S. Senator Rand Paul is one of several members of Congress to test positive for the coronavirus. The Kentucky Republican talked to Local 12's James Pilcher about his experience and why he won't wear a face mask. What was having COVID-19 like? You know, for me, uh, I was one of the lucky ones. I didn't have any symptoms. I didn't have a fever, cough, body aches. I never would have gone to a doctor. So I, I was very lucky. That's how Kentucky Senator Rand Paul describes his brush with the coronavirus. He's the lone U.S. Senator to test positive to date, although several have self-isolated after being near him and others with the virus. He got the test in March because he felt at risk due to his travel schedule and lowered immunity from a lung injury. There have been seven documented positive tests in the U.S. House, although about 40 congressmen have self-isolated. Paul feels there is no need to wear a mask as the Senate returns to Washington this week. That raised eyebrows among his colleagues. Well, I have immunity. I've had the virus. Can't contract it again and can't transmit it to anybody. The science is pretty good on this. Paul talked about efforts to restart the national economy, calling Kentucky's Democratic Governor Andy Beshear an economic dictator. We're not going fast enough. We should open the economy and open it as quickly and as soonly as possible. The governor should not be telling every business what they need to do to open. He should get out of the way. Nobody made him an economic dictator, and there's no reason the governor should think he gets to make the decision for every business on how they open. Paul also weighed in on rising meat shortages. A bill from he and Northern Kentucky Congressman Thomas Massey would lift the ban on local meat processors selling to grocery stores and restaurants. The onerous red tape doesn't make us safer. What it does is it creates a monopoly. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. And you can see the full video of James's interview with Senator Rand Paul and several other area congressmen at local12.com.